Survival in the desert is no easy task. Both rock pocket mice and kangaroo rats need a consistent supply of energy to avoid predators, forage for food, and maintain body functions. But where do they get the energy? The answer lies in the carbohydrate-rich seeds the animals eat as the main part of their diet. Carbohydrates are essential macromolecules that store and provide energy for all living organisms. Hi everyone, I'm Noel Poller, AP Biology teacher and author of the Lab Hamster Storylines. In this video, we will be exploring carbohydrates. You'll learn how to describe the structure and function of carbohydrates, including simple sugars and complex carbohydrates. We'll also examine how these molecules help rock pocket mice and kangaroo rats survive in the desert. Carbohydrates can be classified as simple sugars, which includes monosaccharides and disaccharides, or complex carbohydrates, which are also called polysaccharides. Polysaccharides are built when chemical reactions link monosaccharides together by forming covalent bonds that connect the smaller molecules into larger chains or branched molecules. Simple sugars include monosaccharides and disaccharides. These molecules may exist as linear chain molecules or cyclic structures containing rings. Simple sugars like glucose can be broken down by the body very quickly to provide a quick burst of energy, perfect for a rodent looking to avoid capture by a hungry predator. Complex carbohydrates are polysaccharides that are made when monosaccharides are connected to form large linear or branched molecules. The reactions that build complex carbohydrates are referred to as dehydration synthesis due to the water molecules that are formed as a byproduct of the reaction that creates the covalent bond between the two monosaccharides. Complex carbohydrates are important for long-term energy storage. Kangaroo rats and rock pocket mice are both granivores, which means their primary food source are seeds rich in carbohydrates. As they digest their food, complex carbohydrates are broken down to form glucose and other simple sugars. Glucose can be broken down during the process of cellular respiration to form ATP, the energy source that powers all of the animal's activities. When the animal has more simple sugars than they need to power their activity level, the monomers can be used to create glycogen. This branch polysaccharide is formed by dehydration synthesis reactions and is used for long-term energy storage. Later, if food is scarce, the animal's metabolic activity will break down the stored glycogen using hydrolysis reactions to form glucose, which can provide the energy needed for survival. The presence of many hydroxyl or OH groups on carbohydrates mean that they are polar molecules, which can form hydrogen bonds with polar water molecules. This means that simple sugars like glucose and sucrose dissolve easily in water. Glucose is commonly called blood sugar because it dissolves in the blood and is carried to all the cells of the body by the circulatory system. The polarity of carbohydrates also plays a critical role in a fascinating behavioral adaptation of rock pocket mice and kangaroo rats. These animals don't eat all the seeds that they find as they forage for food. They actually store large caches of seeds in underground burrows. The conditions in the burrow are significantly more humid than the air above ground. This will allow the seeds to absorb water directly out of the air. This characteristic of seeds mean these animals have actually found a way to boost the water content of their main food source. That's a pretty neat trick when you live in the desert where water is hard to come by. In class, we'll explore this phenomenon in an experiment called analyzing the hygroscopic properties of seeds. Let's close with a quick review. Monosaccharides, or simple sugars, are the monomers used to build larger carbohydrates. Polysaccharides, or complex carbohydrates, are formed when covalent bonds link monosaccharides into larger linear or branched molecules. Carbohydrates are an important source of energy for all living organisms. By consuming a carbohydrate-rich diet, Rock pocket mice are able to obtain the energy they need to carry out life activities while also taking advantage of the properties of carbohydrates, which allow the animals to boost the water content of their main food source. Thanks for watching. I hope this was helpful. If you're ready to learn more about the other types of molecules critical for life, you should check out this video right here.